Hello Cajon players, today I have a Cajon to unbox. Felipe here from CajonMaster.com and I hope everybody's doing great. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and sound test of a Cajon that is considered one of the best budget snare Cajons in the market. It's the Mino Snarecraft Cajon. There are different models inside of the Snarecraft line. In this line, the body structure of the Cajons is pretty much the same. The difference between each model is the wood material of the tapa, the front plate of the Cajon. And the model we are reviewing today is the Mino Snarecraft Heart Ash. This model is offered in three sizes. The Cajon we are testing today is the middle size. This Cajon costs 99 euros in Europe and 109 dollars in the US. I have included links with all the different sizes and prices in the description below. Before starting the unboxing, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So let's open the box to see the other box. Let's do it. To open the box, let's take my knife. Let's do it. front plate in hard edge and all the screws around the front plate. We have, it's a snare craft so we have the snare mechanism in the inside, a traditional two sets of snare. It comes with four feet of course, rubber feet. So let's see how it sounds. I'm recording this review with two microphones. A condenser AKG C3000 in the front and a Shure Beta 52 in the back. As a snare cajon, I think there is a separation between the bass and the snare. What does that mean is when we play the bass of the cajon, we don't hear any snare buzz going on. The snare sound is very high pitched and there is a very nice smack sound on it. Two sides of the cajon sound very good, very nice to do side grooves and to use in your fuse as well. Regarding to the bass sound, there is not a very low frequency, but it's very controlled and the attack is good. This is not a very sensitive cajon. I think it's good if you are looking to play pop and rock styles, especially if you need that beat, that grooves with 
a steady beat, a strong back beat, bass and snare very well defined. I think it's good for that. Another good feature, I think, is the front plate, that we have the possibility to tune and all the screws and remove and put back what makes easy if you are in a different place, like a more lively place like I am now, or if you are in a studio that is more dry, you can tune according to the place you are. Let's say that this is a good entry-level cajon with a very good price. I would suggest this cajon for everyone that is starting out and is looking to buy the first cajon. I think it's good value for money. If you like this cajon and you want to buy it, you can use the link I put in the description below. I hope you like this review. Please leave your opinions and suggestions about this cajon and other cajons in the comment section below. And for you to get started on the cajon, I'm offering a free starter course, link in the description below. If you want to keep in touch with me, you can also follow this project on Instagram and Facebook. Click thumbs up if you liked the video. If you didn't yet subscribe to the channel, make yourself subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. See you very soon in the next video. Bye.